Hey friends, it's Amy Dove, the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great day. It's Tuesday and we're home from work and we're making a pasta dish. I like to call this a pasta bowl when I have less ingredients, but tonight it's a casserole because we're putting it in a 9 by 13 casserole dish. But with the amount of ingredients you decide to use, you actually can cook it in like a casserole bowl and make you a really nice pasta dish that we love at our house. So it's been a long time since I've cooked it. What I've done so far is I did brown a pound of ground beef, and now we're going to add some low-carb marinara. I'm using Rayos vodka sauce, so it's Rayos vodka sauce, not the traditional marinara. You can use whatever you like, but that's what I'm going to use tonight. And we're going to mix one to two cups of this sauce inside the ground beef. Now, if you wanted to, you could add ground beef and Italian sausage, but we just had some uh, uh, pasta this week on Sunday Haley cooked for us, so... I decided just to do the ground beef this time because we had Italian sausage on Sunday. And what you're going to do is just let that uh, um, simmer together. We just want to get that sauce in the ground beef to make a really nice marinara, like a meat sauce. So I just put one uh, cup, but I'm going to go ahead and add two. So I'm going to do two cups of the low-carb marinara to my one pound of ground beef. And what we're going to do, like I said, is use a 9 by 13 baking dish. But depending on how much ingredients you use, you actually can make this into like one of your round casserole bowls. And I love to call this a pasta bowl. Uh, so I'm going to call it a pasta bowl, but tonight it actually isn't a 9 by 13. <laughs> so we're just going to let this simmer. I've got on really low heat. So we've cooked one pound of ground beef. And we are letting it uh, simmer in two cups of low-carb marinara. I'm personally using a Rayos brand marinara. We're just going to let this simmer while I get our pasta ready. So we're taking zucchini, and we're going to slice it and then quarter it. So we're just making like little zucchini. We like to call them ZVs. I got that from my friend Nick. So we're just going to um, slice this zucchini. Now, of course, the thicker you slice, or slice it, the longer it's going to have to cook. That's perfectly fine. I've got my oven on 350, and we're going to bake this for about 20 to 30 minutes. Again, depending on how thick you cut your um, vegetables, because that's really all that has to cook once we put it together in the oven. We also want to get our cheese layer warm. So we're going to make a ricotta cheese layer for this amazing pasta. So you guys, I've got the recipe in the, in the post, and then later tonight I will add this to the recipe blog because I haven't cooked this in a long time. I haven't cooked this since the recipe blog came to, came to fruition. So I will definitely put it in the blog later this evening. I hope you guys have had a great day. So what we're doing is just slicing this zucchini. You can do it super thin or super thick. I like it about medium. Uh, I don't want it super thin because it's going to get really uh, soggy. Like it's going to get really, really, really cooked and I don't like it to be mushy. I want to have like a ziti. I want to have some, I want to feel uh, the pasta in there. So I make mine kind of medium and then we quarter it. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. We just took a few slices and we sliced them fairly thick. I mean, like medium, I'd say. And then we quartered those to make little pastas. So we're gonna put this over here. And then if you wanted to, you actually can layer this in your bowl, but I'm just gonna mix it all together. It's easier that way. And look how fast this is. When you slice these, just stack them up like a stack of Oreos. <laughs> like a stack of Oreos, and then just cut it. It doesn't take just a second to do this. You don't have to spend tons of time. And then what we're going to do is mix all of these things together, and then we're going to create our cheese layer. So I'm going to be using ricotta cheese because I love ricotta cheese. If you want to use cottage cheese, you can use cottage cheese, or you can leave this layer out completely up to you guys. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to put all of these zucchinis inside my 9 by 13 you don't have to um, put any kind of spray or oil in it because uh, the marinara is going to make its own little sauce here. So I'm using two zucchinis. About They're, they're kind of medium size. You can use less or more. Again, this is your dish. I'm actually going to be making some so we'll have leftovers for the week. But if you're just cooking for yourself or you and a spouse or you and a child, you don't have to cook as much as I am. You actually can take your ground beef and uh, um, share the ground beef for another recipe in the week. All right, so now we are going to combine these two things. We're going to combine the meat sauce into the pasta. All right, so let's go ahead and mix that up. You guys are going to see how fast this is to do. And guys, if I can do this, you can do this. Like, you can come home from work tired. That's okay to be a little tired from work. That's normal for most people. 
That doesn't mean you have to stop and get fast food. That doesn't mean you have to eat the bad things. You actually can make really fast, delicious, healthy dinners. So we're just mixing this up together. Now, like I said, if you want to layer it, you can totally layer it. But I'm just mixing it up. It tastes great no matter how you do it. So keep in mind, anytime you cook uh, zucchini, zucchini is a, uh, uh, I mean, it holds moisture. So you might have a little bit of liquid in the bottom of your pan when this is finished, but that's okay. It's perfectly okay. It's not going to be tons. It's not going to be overpowering, but you might have a little liquid in the bottom of your pan when you're finished. I mean, God, Bill, don't this look good? I love those vegetables. are so pretty in it. <clears throat> Trying not to continue making a mess here. All right, and I'm just going to spread it out in my casserole dish. And now we're gonna make our ricotta cheese layer that we're gonna put in this. Again, you can leave this layer completely out or you can use cottage cheese, whatever you wanna do. You can actually uh, stop right here, just add a little bit of mozzarella to it. But if you love a good pasta and you love a cheesy pasta, then you're gonna love this layer because it makes this dish so delicious. All right, so we're gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna turn that heat off. Just scoot this over right here. And we're gonna get us a mixing bowl. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take one cup, or you can do less, one cup or less of ricotta cheese. So I'm gonna do a whole cup because we love ricotta cheese. <laughs> if I can open it, okay? Yeah, here we go. All right, so let me, I'm gonna use the same cup here. It'll be perfectly fine. Let me get a bowl. Did you go outside a little bit? You didn't go outside? I forgot to get me a spoon. Let me grab a spoon real quick. All right, so we're going to do a cup. Now, if you want to measure it out like I am, get you a measuring cup. If you look at the uh, container that this ricotta is in, I think it says it's 16 ounces or 15 ounces. So, just a little less than this. <laughs> Honestly, if you didn't want to dirty something. But I already dirtied this up. So, we've got a cup of ricotta cheese. It's all right that it's got that marinara in there. And then we've got one egg. Mm -hmm. We're going to do one teaspoon. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. No, I'm sorry. Dang, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to step. I was supposed to put one tablespoon of Italian in this. So let me go ahead and just, you know what I'm going to do though? I'm just going to... Instead of mixing it all up again, it don't matter. I'm just gonna do it just like this. We're just gonna put a little bit of Italian in there. I like to add a little bit of Italian to my marinara. So it'll be all right. If you want to, you can mix all this in. You'll see it in my recipe. There is a, a tablespoon of Italian in there. All right, and now I'm gonna make this, reduce this down to a teaspoon. <laughs> so in the ricotta cheese sauce, we're gonna do a teaspoon of Italian seasoning with a cup of ricotta. And we're gonna do a fourth cup of um, Parmesan cheese. You can actually do a half cup of Parmesan if you would like to, but I'm not going to. We're gonna do about a cup. Try not to make too big of a mess here. There we go. And then we're just going to mix this up to make our, if I get my thing here. We're gonna mix this up to make our ricotta cheese sauce. So let me get this, here's my spoon. Uh, it'll be better to use a fork or a whisk. All right, so we've got one egg, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, uh, one cup of ricotta, and a fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. Like I said, you can do more Parmesan cheese if you'd like to, but this is just our ricotta cheese that's gonna go over the pasta dish. And then we're gonna top it off with a little bit of mozzarella and put this in the oven on 350 for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how thick you made those vegetables that we talked about. Mix this up really good, get the egg mixed up. Right. Trying to do some reels here at the same time. I hope you guys have had a great day. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and put them in the comments. We're fixing to check out your questions. I'm gonna use the same spoon and we're going to put this ricotta cheese layer over this pasta. Now guys, does this not look delicious? If this sounds delicious, give me some hearts and share this video. Make sure you're always sharing the videos. If there's ever anything that you learn or a good dish that you find, make sure you share the video so that we can show more people how easy it is to cook low carb. I mean, in and out of the kitchen, this is gonna be delicious. It's got our meat and our vegetable. 
Now, if you want to do a side salad with it, you can. If you want to make another vegetable, go ahead. But the thing I love about casseroles is that it has your meat and your vegetable. So you don't have to cook another dish. And that's why I love, that's one reason I love casseroles. Especially if they have some good vegetables in it. All right, so we're just going to uh, spread this layer out over the pasta. And then, like I said, I'm going to put a little bit of mozzarella over the top. And this is going to be good to go into the oven. I've got my oven on 350. You can do it hotter if you want to, but we cook this for about 20, 30 minutes. And the way you know it's done, of course, is your cheese is bubbly, but you can put a fork all the way through your vegetables. If that fork goes through your vegetable, then it's good to go in the eye. You guys know, if you watch my page, I don't like mushy vegetables. I don't like hard, crunchy vegetables, but I don't want them mushy. Ugh, I like them just right. <laughs> and that just comes with practice. So let me put a little bit of mozzarella over it. I can do this. Let me see if I can do this with one hand here. Oh yeah, I can do it. I'm pretty good at this. And then we're gonna put just a little bit of mozzarella over it. And then we're gonna put this into the oven. So guys, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'm fixing to check out any questions you might have. Super excited about this. Oh, and guys, we have a new video that a wonderful a teammate of mine helped us create. And if you guys are interested in learning a little bit about what it means to share ketones, to share what I do with you guys, and join me in helping more families become healthier, then I have a great little video I can send you guys. So if you're interested in learning about the business of helping people sharing ketones and getting compensated to actually help your family with financial future, uh, then put biz in the comments, B-I-Z, and I'll send you some information because it's going to be um, super fun to share this new uh, page that we created. So look how beautiful that is. I mean, you've got the vegetables in there. You've got your pasta. I mean, it looks beautiful. I'm going to stick this in the oven real quick and I'll be right back to check your questions. Oh, that's going to be yummy. I'm super excited about that. Now, I have a little bit of Parmesan inside that cheese. If you want to top it off with a little extra Parmesan with that Italian, no, I'm sorry. If you want to top it off with a little Parmesan in addition to the mozzarella, you can do that if you want to. I'm not. I'm going to leave it just as it is. But let's move you guys over so I can see if you have any questions for me. There's Ricky and his uh, orange tank top. I know y'all haven't seen that orange tank top in a little while. <laughs> so let's see real quick if you guys have any questions. Super excited to be here to help you guys. I love this page. It is almost five years old, or is it five years already? I think I, I, think I started like around November, like Thanksgiving 2018 is when I started this page. So yeah, it's getting really close to five years. Isn't that pretty cool? All right. Karen says she loves Rayos. Hey, Cheryl. Uh, I've had this thing for a long time. I got it at Maurice's. Um, I love Maurice's. They have like super soft t-shirt material. Like I love Maurice's. Um, can see where this is headed. It might have been my dish to pass at our family reunion Sunday. Oh yes, it's so delicious. I'm telling you, I've got all kinds of great, great casseroles. Lainey, if you need some ideas, just go to the blog and that blog will be posted in just a few hours with this plated dinner. So you guys can go in there and just search all the recipes if you want to. Uh, I love to share my recipes. And I love to create new recipes and find things that Ricky and I really enjoy. And everything that is in the blog is something we really have enjoyed or it's even our favorites. And we rotate them often. So you see them quite often on my page because we cook them a lot. Hey, Paul, how are you? Oh, Paul said it's one of the regular dishes. That's awesome. Uh, what is HB? I don't know. What is HB? Joan, I missed that. Maybe it's in the, I'll keep reading. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Lourdes. Uh, what was the sauce? I used uh, low-carb marinara. It's uh, the Rayos brand. I love Rayos. And I know there's going to be a lot of controversy over Rayos in the, in the coming months because it just got sold out. They sold out to Campbell's. So I hope and I, I really do hope and I have faith that Campbell's is going to keep the integrity of the sauce because it truly is delicious. Uh, there's no, um, I mean, it's really delicious. You rarely have to add any kind of ingredients to make it taste great. Like it's just really, really good. And there's like four net carbs or five net carbs and a fourth cup or even a half cup in some of them. So I love it. 
All right, guys. Yes, Lorna says she loves Rios too. Guys, I got to the bottom. I hope you had a great day. If I can help you in any way, please make sure that you're reaching out to me. If you're looking for getting started tips, you may be new to my page or new to eating low carb or even keto, make sure that you um, put getting started in the comments so I can send you some simple tips that I started with and I still follow today. Not perfect by no means. If you guys follow me, you know I'm not perfect. I don't even try to be. It's impossible to try to be perfect, so why let yourself down, right? But we do the best we can, and we make good choices to create healthy habits that will last a lifetime, that will last a lifetime. This is almost my fifth year, and I just feel the best I ever have. Even going through uh, turmoil and trauma and stress, it still is the best I've ever felt ever. And I just do not feel like I will ever turn my back to this way of living. It's just so simple. It's delicious. And I mean, there's just so many things you can have. Unlike most diets where you can't have everything. <laughs> it's like you're searching for things you can have. With, with low carb, really, there's so many things you can have. To make a list of the things you can I mean, I don't know. I, I, people ask me all the time, like, what's a list of things you can't have? And I'm like, really? It's very simple. Just don't go after sugar. Like, get up rid of the fruit cups and the candy bars and the cookies and make your own low-carb sweet treats. They're so simple. I've got recipes. It's just so simple. But, I mean, there's really not that many things you can't have. Like, instead of having pasta, I'm making a, a vegetable pasta. Instead of having... Um, you know, sugar, there's swerve confection. There's so many substitutes, but very little things you can't have. So if you're new and you would like some getting started tips, put getting started in the comments. And guys, if you would love to know more about joining me on my team of sharing ketones, you guys know I love my ketones. I talk about them daily. I love them. If you have ever thought about joining me and actually helping share this wealth of knowledge and helping other families become healthy, then just let me know by putting biz in the comments so I can send you this new little cute link that we created. It's got great information, some great videos. I'm even in it. And uh, I would love to share that with you. If you're interested, no pressure at all. Not everybody wants to have a business. Not everybody needs finances. But hey, if you're looking for a side business to help